What's good to YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Manifesting with Karmic Side Gal. My name is Shakela. Here on my channel, I discuss manifesting the life you deserve to have, my process and journey to ascension, and of course, spirituality in general. If this is the first time you've ever checked out one of my videos, thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Each time that you subscribe, that allows me to continue making videos and content for the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Now, if you are part of the spiritual family, big hearts go out to you guys. I am so grateful for you each and every time that you come back and watch one of my videos, every time that you put a comment on the video, just showing me love and just know that I'm sending that love right back to you guys. So if you can see from the title and description of this video today, I came with a channel message for the collective per usual our weekly message before we jump into pulling out any cards i do have two channel messages that i channeled this week today actually so the first thing that really was on my heart that i wanted to talk to you guys about was growth mindset um now obviously here on my channel i talk a lot about personal growth and healing and becoming the version of yourself that you know it's just your best self so what a growth mindset is, is just understanding that everything has potential, that you have potential. Oh my God, look at this little baby turtle. It's literally a little baby turtle like floating right next to me in this pond. Um, you know, and when you understand that sometimes the answer is not no, it's just not yet. So having a growth mindset is allowing yourself the space to grow. You know what I'm saying? A, an understanding that everything is a practice. Everything that you are learning, everything that you are doing is just a practice. It's like that Drake song and he'd be like, I can tell that you were practicing. All those other men were practice. They were practice. And it's like, yeah understanding that where you are right now is exactly where you are meant to be and there's so much to learn from this situation okay there's so much to learn from this current space in your journey as as you continue on and you allow your space yourself the space to grow you just take your time just like the turtle just take your time and go at your own pace and not compare yourself to other people and understand that divine timing is definitely a thing okay so if you don't know what growth mindset is um i'm gonna link a video here or maybe i might do one later on my channel specifically going into what that means but growth mindset is just allowing yourself the space to grow having that mindset of understanding that everything you're doing is just a practice and that means that you're getting prepared for your ultimate journey for all the things that your higher self is going to require like for example personally me i'm a life path five so i've done a lot of things as far as like jobs and professionally and even like relationships and stuff like that and um a lot of my life people criticized me and it wasn't until i really got into my 30s where people started to finally see what I was doing and although in those moments oh my god little blue jay so many animal totems out here today um although in that moment that I was making these decisions or basically building up my profile like when I started working I think I first started out like in customer service and retail and I had my experience in the military and people thought oh I should have did that when I started doing hair people was like well, you should just do hair, you know? They wanted to really box me in. And now that I am this big age, I'm realizing that all of those things were collectively build, putting these pieces together of who I am now, of this version of my higher self that I'm working towards to become it. All of it is gonna work together eventually. And because I had that growth mindset where I could see maybe right now, I'm not gonna get the results that I want, but as I continue to work towards it and give myself grace as I'm doing that, then eventually I'm gonna get there when I continue to do the things that it requires, you know what I'm saying? 
another thing spirit really wanted to talk to me um talk to you guys and i guess really talk to me about is rejection okay um in these last few weeks let me tell y'all i've been applying for a lot of jobs and you know once y'all get deep into the spiritual journey like this might not be for everybody but for a lot of people we really start to disconnect with the 3d and feeling like we have to work for things um like me personally i know that i'm so gifted and talented so it's like why would i be wasting all my gifts and skills and talents working a nine to five job that i literally hate um just to, to take care of me and my family. I don't think that was God's purpose for my life. So I'm like applying for jobs and shit over the last few weeks. And every time I went to an interview, I just knew that it wasn't for me. I knew that they weren't gonna hire me or select me. One interview I went to and the person that was supposed to be interviewing me wasn't even there for the day. And it was like a lot of rejection. And for a couple of days, it defeated me. And I was just like, you know, this just sucks so bad. Like, I don't understand. Why do I even have to work for money? Like money is energy. It's like when you just get consciously raised on a certain vibration, it's just none of the shit really makes sense outside of the purpose that it's supposed to make sense for. It's for us to get rich people richer. And um, I had to deal with a lot of rejection and ultimately it led me to clarity of realizing that i should be working with my gifts i should be doing something that's more in my purpose and i just have to figure out how i'm going to do that so allow yourself to be present in the emotion of rejection like understand that it's perfectly normal and Sometimes you're gonna hear no, sometimes you're gonna hear not yet. And on all those circumstances, allow them to build on you. Like allow them to be basically steps or building blocks for who it is that you're becoming or what you're working towards. Because when you finally get that yes, know that that yes was perfectly aligned for you. It was in divine timing. This is the plan that God had for you in your life. So be okay with the rejection. Because when the wind comes in, when that W comes in, you're going to be so grateful for all of those no's. Just get comfortable with it. Get comfortable with the idea of rejection. So I'm gonna jump in first. I think I'm going to start with a wisdom card, a shocker card, okay? And see what's good with that. Thank you, spirit. Let's see. What messages does the divine has for us this week? What affirmations do we need to be in tune with this week? When I tell you this little blue jay, it's not even little. It's quite a big bird. It's getting closer and closer to me. I honestly just wanted to come sit down beside me. <laughs> I've been seeing so many birds lately. Drop a comment if you guys have been seeing birds lately. Okay, they said just flip it, y'all. Oh, this has been coming up a lot all week. Okay, so we got the fifth chakra. This is the throat chakra, the color blue. Okay, like the blue jay, honey. Um, if you've been seeing blue a lot for you, then these affirmations are probably going to resonate with you the most now this is specifically about setting boundaries guys so i'm gonna read each one of these affirmations they're a little bit lengthy but it's only three on this card i teach others how to love and respect me by how i love and respect myself my integrity is supported when i express my thoughts and feelings i am aware of excessively wanting to please others I will maintain and grow my personal power by saying yes when I mean yes and saying no when I mean no. I speak up for myself and I set boundaries regarding other people's behavior. I do this by asking for what I do want, such as respect, patience, tolerance, and support, rather than telling them what I don't want. Yes, healthy communication, okay? Um, I'm going to link a video here that I did a while ago. And it's all about the different communication styles and the communication style that we want to be 
okay, which is assertive communicators. And when you are communicating healthily in your relationships, then you are creating a safe space for others to communicate healthy with you. When people can't match that same vibration as you, you know that it's time to release those people because they're not capable um, of meeting you in the same place that you are at. And um, some people just don't have the emotional intelligence to communicate healthily. So that's a lot of us, honestly, as we heal and work through things and trauma and release behaviors that we were taught to us, but were, are not necessarily good. So take a look at that video for sure. If you're interested and want to know more about comm communication styles, you want to learn more about... Um, you know the throat chakra and how you can be have a more balanced throat chakra and remember that it all starts with yourself with your throat chakra the more honest you are with your own self the eventually it'll be easier to be honest with other people it's when we be lying to ourselves that really get us this sun reflecting on this pond onto my skin is just so beautiful it's like a 90s movie Dang, spirit. Okay, so spirit's only giving me one card out of the Osho Zen deck. And child, we've got card number 15, a one and a five. And it is the card conditioning, okay? So I've had this card before in one of my readings. And um, this card specifically jumps out when you're in a state of preparation. So this means that allowing yourself to be present, having that growth mindset and saying in moments where you feel discouraged, allowing that to condition you, to pad you, so to speak. Of. It's like if life was a football game, in order to get out there on that field to play your best, you have to be supported by equipment. You have to have the right team surrounding you. girl you have to be padded by that equipment you need to have the right team surrounding you you need to go to training camps beforehand so that you can be physically fit okay you probably need to seek some therapy so you can emotionally handle all the baggage that it comes with being a football player just apply what that means to your own life and your own career field okay what is it that you need to be preparing right now? How can you condition yourself? How can you get yourself, you know, padded up for success? With this lion here, too, is really leaning into the Leo energy and showing us to just be strong. OK, I know it's easier said than done. And trust me, even though I consider myself to be one of the strongest people, I have a lot of moments to myself personally where you know, I'm feeling just like this lion, like caged in sometimes. But what spirit is really telling you is to allow people to help you. Like in that chakra card where you're saying you're telling people what you need, expressing to people right now, this is, this is how I need to be supported. This is how you can help me get prepared. This is how you can be um, involved in my conditioning. Um, and this deck that I'm using is the Tarot of Dreams. If you guys care at all. Okay, Spirit, if I can just get a clear, concise message for the collective. Thank you. Ancestor, Spirit Guides, Hecate and Osiris. Ooh. And here we go. Wow. So underneath at the bottom of the deck, we got the nine of pinnacles. Um, and specifically what's jumping out on this car is these two doves. And I'm trying to think there's like a saying like one in the hand and one in the something. One in the hand. Girl, I don't know, but I really cannot remember what is this. Nine of pinnacles energy is just saying ground yourself in the unknown 
because you're almost there. It's really giving almost there energy and it's just time to release those behaviors or thought processes that you still have that are holding you back. Okay, I don't want to read no reversals today. We're going to go with what we're going with. Okay. I made that up because Spirit definitely said, turn them cards back over. I gave them to you reverse. So the first card that we got coming out is the lovers. Okay, the first thing that Spirit is saying that um, they want to be connected with you. They want to be more a part of your your process okay as you prepare yourself the spirit is saying that you can lean on them okay um i'm specifically getting like vibes to light a candle if you guys do any type of candle work even if you just white light a white candle to cleanse your space sometimes that is good but if you see in this lover's card specifically there's They, there are six candles in the picture, first of all, four of which are different sizes and shapes. And then we've got these two in the pillars above the couple. And the couple, to me, to note that they're kind of covered by this veil, which is kind of like those rose colored lenses, right? When you're in love with something. And this is really signifying to me like the dreams that we have. So when we have a dream or a goal, it's like we very much put on these red tinted lenses of what we think it's going to take for us to achieve that goal. And we think, OK, these are just the simple things that I have to do. And if I do this, if I'm consistent in this and this and not realizing that dreams and goals is not a one size fits all. So even you could take advice from me, you could take advice from some person that does classes online to teach you how to grow your business you can take advice from a lady on tiktok but your dream was giving to you for a reason for a purpose okay there's no cookie cookie cutter dream and sometimes in the process of conditioning ourselves to to prepare us for who we are when that dream is fulfilled is removing those rose colored lenses because we think that there won't be obstacles we think that, you know, it's not it's not going to cost as much money as we think it is. And all of those things, if we're not grounded and we're not really so passionate about our dream, they can deter you. They can block you. They can stop you. They can make you put a hold on your dreams because everything's not aligned the way that you think it is. And spirit is saying change your perspective because everything is aligned the way that it's supposed to be. And it's you who have to figure out how to manipulate that energy, how you have to make your own personal magic work for yourself. So the next card that we got is the Queen of Swords coming out. OK, um, especially with all of this blue here in this card, I feel like this week for sure we're going to be having a lot of tough conversations. We are going into Mercury retrograde this week. And I honestly, a couple months ago, I decided that I really wasn't giving too much energy to the retrogrades personally. So that's why I didn't really want to make a video about it on my channel. Or even when I talk about the astrology, I'm not really giving y'all like Mercury retrograde. Um, one, because it's all about what I said, how you choose to make energy work for yourself. So if you go into it with a fear-based mindset, like, oh, Mercury retrograde, my device is not going to be working. It's going to be difficult to communicate with people. That's what the energy that you're going to get. Okay. The only thing that you have control over is your own energy, your own words, your own decision. And outside of how it makes other people feel or how they react to that, it's kind of not your business as long as what you did was or what you said was true to who you are like not fucking nobody over or nothing like that but you know what I mean so during this week just be more observant 
speak when you need to be spoken, but also know when not to speak. And definitely with the Queen of Swords popping out and going back to those chakra cards, just being more in tune with your boundaries. You'll be more in tune with your boundaries the more that you are more in tune with your own personal needs. What is it that you need? How can you support yourself through that? And instead of relying on other people to fulfill you and then saying, oh, I'm not happy because you didn't do this for me. Figure out other ways that you could fulfill yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just manipulate the energy differently, okay? Now, the next card we got coming out is the Ten of Coins, okay? So, with the Nine of Coins at the bottom of the deck and then the Ten of Coins in the reading, I feel like this is going to be a really prosperous week for us. For some people, it might actually be physical abundance in a monetary way. For some people, it's going to be actually being present in where they are right now and finding fulfillment and abundance in the value of things that are not material okay and grounding yourself in the emotional sense of it the connection to the earth this week when we um record it for the podcast every week we always say one thing that we are grateful for and one thing that we're making time for in the week and today i said that i was making time for nature to be more in nature to get more connected to ground myself and i feel like that is what a lot of the collective needs as well okay as much as you can try and get to nature try and be more connected to your spiritual self and all, all of the energy that the earth itself has to offer like the water and the trees and the dirt like just really seeking fulfillment through things that don't cost you money the last card we got coming out this week is the three of swords in reverse okay so it feels like the things last week that we found ourselves complaining about um the things that we were ungrateful about that we're finally coming to into this space where we can be present and the things that you know used to make us have stress before we're no longer stressed about that shit anymore because there's more important things to worry about than just money or you know buying the latest clothes there's bigger things to worry about like if you got kids instead of worrying about what is the new dress you could be purchasing you need to be worrying about how you can be more deeply connected how you can have a good honest relationship with your children so that they can come to you and communicate you communicate with you about things um you know what i'm saying it's other important shit more valuable shit to worry about like Investing your time and energy into relationships is going to be really important in this next month coming up. So I hope that this reading was impactful for you. I hope that you got everything that you needed and you are prepared to go into this next week filled with peace, love, joy, and fulfillment. I'm wishing you guys nothing but the best. If you would like to book with me for a personal reading, you can do so by heading over to fullmoonbeauties.com. And if you want to participate connect with me on other platforms i'm at karmic site gal everywhere and of course you can just look into the description box and hit any of those links to follow up on any of my personal projects peace out